Welcome to Germany vs. USA. Today, we're going to talk about restaurants. So Jim and I, we've been in many, many, many restaurants in Germany, Europe, and the US. They have been there together, actually. And there's a ton of differences. Mm -hmm. So first thing that comes to mind is just the whole process of, you know, point A to point B. Uh, when you go to a restaurant in the U.S., um, you have to wait to be seated. Right. Which so, has left me at many counters in Germany just standing there like, man, where the hell's the hostess? <laughs> Who's going to bring me to my table, actually? Where, I don't know what to do here. Where? People just look at you like, why is he standing in the middle of the room like nothing is happening? And also, like, if there's... Um, if there's a line, right, in the restaurant, like with people oh, waiting. I don't stand in line, so I just go somewhere else. No, but if, if, if you do that, actually, you will get, like, this little buzzer thing, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, like, um, you just, they tell you usually to, like, you know, you just have, like, 10, 20 minutes, and whenever your table is ready, basically, the thing starts to beep or to, like, to blink or something, and then you know you have to, you know, your table is ready, basically. And right. You so go you back. You go back to the house, just give it back here, and yeah. stick you to the Yeah, table. don't have that in Germany. You don't have those. Mm -mm. I mean, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen them in Germany, no. I guess not. But I, I feel like a lot of times I've rarely had to wait in that's line the, yeah, that's the other to, thing. to eat at a German restaurant, where in the U.S. a lot of times you have to wait in line. I think people are not used to waiting in line before they go to a restaurant. First of all, I think restaurants are perhaps not as busy. Then if you really want to go into a restaurant, then you usually reserve a table. Um, and then if there's, I mean, if you go to a restaurant and it's just full, you go to a different restaurant, I guess. Right. I mean, with the U.S., we eat out so much. I mean, it's so common mm -hmm. here to go out to eat that the, a lot of places always will have a line. Where I think in Germany, there's a lot more home cooking. There's mm -hmm. uh, local you, places. You, local places. Yeah, chains. Y'all don't have the near amount of chains that we do. We do have a lot of chains, but not as many as you guys have. I mean, we do have like, I mean, we have, you know, not talking about fast food chains, not like in a McDonald's, Burger King, right. Subway, or Kentucky Fried Chicken, or something like that. But we do have, um, what do they call it, a Vapiano, which is like um, basically a chain where, like Italian style, they have like olive trees in the middle of the restaurants, and you basically go to, they have different counters, like for salad, for pasta, for pizza, and they basically prepare the food right in front of you. Oh, cool. We have a uh, Olive Garden. That's an mm -hmm. Italian chain. Um, it, they don't prepare the food right in front of you. I think there's also a uh, it's melting pot, mm -hmm. which is a chain. And then we have a lot of I call them like airport restaurants, like Chili's, Applebee's, Lone Star. Mm -hmm. You know, just like these places that you only, I only ever eat if I'm in an airport. <laughs> but you see them, you know, like yeah. everywhere. And they're all over the nation, also. I mean, uh, TGFI Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. Mm -hmm. They have a specialty on Friday, right? TJ Friday? I'm sure they do. Um, Every day is Friday there. <laughs> and then in German, let's see, we have, um, yeah, Vapiano. We have this Alex, which is like a... Like, your, your restaurant? It's my restaurant. Um, then we have Cafe Extrablatt. We have the Blockhouse, which is like a steakhouse. And some of those might be regional, actually. Then we have a place, like a fast food chain called Wienerwald. I've never actually seen it, but someone commented on our fast food episode that I, you know, why didn't you mention Wienerwald? And I was like, well, I could have never heard of it. Wait, Wiener World? W Wienerwald, like v Wiener Forest, I guess. Oh, okay. I thought someone was making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Wienerwald. I think it's a lot, like a lot in the south of Germany, like in Bavaria and Austria, it's very popular, and, but I've never seen it actually. So back to the process of actually getting food, <laughs> off topic here. So going to the restaurant, you, you know, Let's just assume, you know, there's this room, there's a table. In Germany, you just seat yourself. In the U.S., you will have your waiter, basically, who will bring you to your table, right? Right. Then you sit down, um, and the first thing you usually get in the U.S. is just, like, a huge thing of, like, a cup of, like, glass of water, right? Right. You'll get you'll get a cup of water. A lot of times you'll get uh, free chips or, like, some bread or something while you wait. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas in Germany, you, you sit down, uh, you have a birthday... You age a little bit, <laughs> you sit for a little longer, you think, oh, did they forget about me? And then someone comes and tells you, hey, how's it going? And it was like, oh, I've been here a oh, while. They probably won't ask how you're doing. <laughs> no, they, they won't. No, but actually, um, it is true. In Germany, you seat yourself and, um, you know, I mean, generally, like, the, the, the speed of service in the U.S., like, in U.S. restaurants compared to German restaurants, it's just like different, <laughs> I, a I, different scale. I grew where when I first started traveling, I really didn't like it. Uh, but as I continued to where travel, you had to wait, where I had to wait, yeah. 
But when I continued to travel, I got where I really liked it because in Germany, you don't have TVs for the most part in your restaurants. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, where yeah. in the U.S., you really do. I mean, mm -hmm. there's just TVs everywhere, you know, in pretty much any restaurant you go to. Also, I usually uh, didn't have a phone mm -hmm. until like recent years. That's and, true. And so it really, you sit down. You're not always just sitting with the group that you came in. Sometimes you're sitting with complete strangers. Yeah, you sometimes join tables, like in right. beer garden, for example, or if they have what's called uh, beer set kind of like those long tables and long benches, basically. And those ones you you can like join other groups, of, basically. Right, and so you get into it forces you into a conversation mm -hmm. and take a deep breath, enjoy your lunch break, <laughs> enjoy you your dinner, get your German on. <laughs> yeah, you know where in the yes you come in, you get your food. You know if you're having good service, the uh, the waiter waitress. He or she's there. Mm -hmm. They're quick. Mm -hmm. You know, they may ask you for an appetizer. You mm -hmm. get it. It's in and out food. And it's very, very, very fast. Like right. very, very to the point. And uh, and actually, it's kind of funny because we went to a couple of restaurants in those days. And like, once we were like done eating, um, I mean, the waiter would basically come right away and just give us the bill, which in Germany you have to ask for, of course. Right, you, I mean, um, a lot of times you just like, you know, put your wallet out or... Right, and yeah. I mean, you often have to ask for it. Even if mm -hmm. you put out your wallet, they might look at you, but they will still be waiting for like the, you it's, know, like... It's a mannerism difference, because yeah. in Germany, when you're eating, a waiter or a waitress, they will not take away your plate if you're finished mm -hmm. and other people are eating. Yeah. Whereas in the US, if you finish eating, they'll come up and, and take your plate Away. Even though other people at the table might still be eating mm -hmm. in Germany, that's like I mean, you know, in German, if you're in a restaurant like a nicer restaurant, they never do that. They always leave like the plates at the table um, until everyone is finished, and then they basically take away all of them. And you never pay. I mean, that's I, I worked as a waiter when I was like in, in um, when I did my abitur, and like you're not supposed to actually like uh, uh, get the bill like when there's still like plates on the table, perhaps drinks, but not plates. So. I think that's awesome because, I mean, one of my really good friends here, she always gets mad at me because I'll eat my food really quick mm. and she'll be eating like a bird and just eating slow <laughs> and taking forever. And I'm just like, you know, but she'll get mad at me if I finish too fast because she's just like, slow down because I don't want them to take your plate right. and, and me just being here by myself eating. And then she's basically eating alone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so I think I think it's awesome that they, they do that. Mm -hmm. The process of paying is greatly contrasts as well. I mean, U.S. You, you have larger tips. I mean, we mentioned that in our tipping episode. Right. Um, you also majority credit cards um, in the U.S. I mean, if you do, I mean, sometimes you pay in cash, but mm -hmm. for the most part, it's you know credit card, you know, in and out. But if you pay in cash, you leave the tip on the table, right? You do, yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes too, if you pay with a credit card um, and you're with a big group, uh, you know, the group will collectively put a tip on the table, mm -hmm. and then you'll put like your share on the credit card, and okay. that way, you know, so it's all taken care of. Yeah, in Germany, you round up with the waiter directly and just pay the waiter, like you give them the tip directly. I mean, we talked about it in the, in the tipping episode. So. Paying, ask for the bill, credit card, cash mostly in Germany. You can, in some places, you can pay with credit cards, some like nicer restaurants, I guess. Um, and then if you have leftovers, um, we also did have an episode where we talked about that, the doggy bag. In Germany, it's, it is very rare to actually basically have the leftovers being you know, put together, like packed together and like to take away, whereas you have something left over in your plate, whereas in the U.S. Yeah, you have, dog, but I mean, generalizing, our portions are a lot bigger. And true, I mean, yeah. for the majority of times where you go out to a restaurant, you're going to get served a lot more food in mm -hmm. the U.S. than you are in Germany, um, mm -hmm. because a lot of times it's chains, it's, you know, it's just, we're, there's Americans, <laughs> just there's so America. much food. <laughs> Well, that's it on restaurants. You know, very different, but also an awesome experience. Uh, German food's wonderful. American food is very filling. Uh, I mean, it's also, I love American food. I mean, there's a lot of like really, really good stuff out here. I mean, I really enjoy going to American restaurants and I really enjoy the service. Like the, the like the waiter is your servant, really. That's what you, where, that's where the Americans Americans, ask about asparagus season when you go abroad. <laughs> Y'all take it easy. Cheers.